So here we're going to find the area of a rectangle. And the formula that we use to find the area of a rectangle is A is equal to the base times the height. And the A stands for the area, the B stands for the base, and the H stands for the height. And the base is equal to the length of the bottom or the top of the rectangle, since the bottom and the top have the same length. And the height is equal to the length of the side of a rectangle. And since both sides have the same length, the height is equal to the length of either side of the rectangle. So let's get started right away with an example. So here we have a rectangle with a bottom side with a length of 4 inches, which also means that our top side has a length of 4 inches. And the length of the side of our rectangle is 3 inches, which also means that the other side of the rectangle is also 3 inches. And the base is equal to the length of the bottom or the top of the rectangle. Since the bottom has a length of 4 inches, then our base is going to be equal to 4 inches. And the height is equal to the length of the side of the rectangle. Since the side of a rectangle has a length of 3 inches, our height is going to be equal to 3 inches. And now after we have our base and our height, we can just plug everything into our area formula. The area is equal to the base. And we know that the base of our rectangle is 4 inches, so I'm going to plug in 4 inches for our base. And this is all multiplied by our height. And we know that our height is equal to 3 inches, so I'm going to plug in 3 inches for the height. And now the only thing that we have to do is multiply. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And we can't forget about our units. Area is always expressed in square units, such as square feet or square meters or square yards. Since we were given inches in this particular problem, our units are going to be square inches. And now I want to show you an illustration just so this makes a little bit more sense. What I want to do is I'm going to divide this base, which has a length of 4 inches, I'm going to divide it into 4 equal intervals of 1 inch. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the height. Since the height has a length of 3 inches, I'm going to divide the height into 3 equal 1 inch intervals. So now you can see that we have a bunch of squares with the base and a height of 1 inch. So the area of each square is 1 square inch. And look how many square inches we have. We have 1 square inch, we have 2 square inches, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 square inches. So this is just a little illustration to show that the area is equal to 12 square inches.